Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in 1 Samuel chapter 16, beginning in verse 7, and it goes like this. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on the countenance or on the height of his statue, because I have refused him, for the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. You know, I heard about a story about this feller. Oh, I guess it had to have been back in the 40s or 50s. And Anyhow, he worked at this huge bank. And, uh, and uh, every day, uh, down on the ground floor, they had a cafeteria. And day after day, this man would uh, uh, get one of the two-cent plant of butter, you know, and uh, he'd lay it on his tray and then set his roll on top of it so they wouldn't uh, charge him for it. Yep. <laughs> this went on for a month or two, and eventually people got to watching him and figured out that he was just stealing butter, two-cent butter. And uh, someone uh, reported it to the bank president who uh, came down and just fired him on the spot, saying, if I can't trust you, a man with a two-cent stick of butter or a plat of butter, how can I trust you with thousands of dollars? Now, that's a good question. You know, I wonder about many believers today. You know, uh, a lot of them's not faithful. Yeah, yeah, they attend church and and they're on one or two committees and they sit on the front row and and they bring the best big picnic dish, you know, at the church uh, outing. And but when it comes to actual obedience, they've strayed way, way behind. You know, in today's passage, couldn't be clear. While the world's value, you know, is outward appearance, God looks in here. He, he looks into your heart. If you want God to do something extraordinary in your life, be obedient in the little things, regardless of what it is. Regard, even if it's just going out and picking up trash out of the churchyard. Yeah. We need to be obedient. We need to keep him in mind as number one, not number two, but as number one. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you a bit better yet. Jesus loves you. Yeah. He died on that cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.